I've said let's debate the crucifixion and resurrection. The crucifixion according to the Quran and the resurrection according to the Bible. Let's debate that. Will you even begin? Will you let me? Will you begin? Okay, okay I'll try. I'll try. Hurry up. Try. I, I notice that Paul is afraid to debate. I am. I am he's so frightened that he's actually treading water. We will debate what the Quran says happened to Christ being crucified because because, Paul, without a crucifixion, there is no resurrection. That's right. That's you uh, right. go up to Christians to debate them about the Bible. I want to debate you about your Quran. Why? Why is the Dawah team scared to debate the Quran? The Dawah team? Why are you scared? Because I'm scared. I can tell that, but why? Paul, I was wondering if you'd be willing to have a debate with me. Well, do you know, I've been going around uh, the last 10 minutes asking Christians, today Christ is risen, they all proclaim. Praise the Lord! And do you know, none of them will debate me on this subject of the resurrection of Jesus on Sunday. So that's why I'm here today. It's your most important day of the year as a Christian. Yep. Let's debate that. What I, what I would like to actually debate. The question. The, the, I don't know. Are you up for debating perhaps, that question? Perhaps, are you we up for can, debating that? perhaps we can incorporate two things together. No, 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 no. Today is There's Easter Sunday. I will, I will, no, uh, uh, no, 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 I hold on, Paul. No, 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 hang on a second. Hold on. I'm offering I'll let one, you speak and then I'll speak. Thank you. This is a one-time offer to you, sir to debate the only subject that matters to Christians today, which is the belief that Christ is risen. I Praise have it, the Lord. as he says. Uh, now, I'm going to, as a Muslim, I will happily debate that today. I'm not going to debate what Muhammad did or what the Quran says. I'm here solely based on the Bible to talk about the resurrection of Jesus, the belief in the resurrection of Jesus. That so, is my proposal. My counter proposal. My counter proposal is this. No, no, take it or no, leave hold, it. I didn't take it interrupt it. you, Paul. Don't interrupt me. Take it or leave it. Don't, yes don't no? interrupt. Don't interrupt, Paul. Is it yes or no? Don't interrupt, Paul. No, so, no, I will, I will, yes or no, I will. Why, why are you frightened, Yes or no. Why are you frightened, Paul? Yes or no. Why are you frightened, Paul? Yes or no? Why are you frightened, Paul? I am terribly frightened. You seem like a man who is frightened. I am very frightened. You do oh, seem like a man who is frightened. I am very frightened. Now, yes so, or no, so, the Builder. The question. Yes or no. Here's, here's my answer. Yes or no? I, can I finish? Well, can you start? I'm no, trying to finish. Can you I, haven't even try. started yes. yet. Can I try? Let's have a yes or no, Bob so, the Builder. So, oh, well, my answer to the question, on, my answer on. to this question Speed up a little bit, sir. is yes, I will debate him on the resurrection right. on a Sunday. Shall we have let five me finish. Each? I haven't I'll finished. Have five minutes. Do you notice? Do you notice Paul yeah. didn't want to let me finish? No, no, I haven't finished. I have not finished. This gentleman will time. Paul, he has said yes. We'll have a debate. Paul, you have not let me finish. Paul, you have not let me finish. Finish. Are you starting? Yeah. Paul, yeah. you have the not let me finish. Ticking. Paul, you have not let me finish. You have five minutes. I've agreed oh. nothing yet. Paul, oh. you have not let me finish. I, I, I said, yes or no. and I said, let me finish. You I haven't said, started Stop yet. Are you frightened to let me finish my answer? Paul? I am frightened, yes. I can tell you're frightened. I am yeah, very frightened. So let me finish then. Will, will you will start? Will, will you, you let me? Will you even begin? Will you let me? Will you begin? Okay, okay I'll try. I'll try. Hurry up. Try. I, I notice that Paul is afraid to debate. I am. Yes. I am he's so frightened <laughs> that he's actually <laughs> treading water. Oh, oh, hold your hands. Do you want me? I'll hold it. Thank you. He's holding my hand. I'm so frightened by this man. I will debate the question of Christ's resurrection on Hallelujah. a Sunday. Hallelujah! Right. Five along, minutes. Let, me, Five finish, minutes. Yes let no? me finish, Paul. Let me finish, Paul. Let me finish, because every time I try to answer, you interrupt me. You haven't started yet. Well, I Hurry have just. Up. The the camera will tell of your lies, my friend. Stop it, so oh. I will try I'll give again. I'll you one more minute, then I'm walking away. I will away. try again. So I will debate the question with Paul about Christ's resurrection on Hallelujah. Sunday. Hallelujah! Let's debate on, the resurrection oh, of Jesus. Let me finish. Get Paul. on with it. You see, he's not letting me finish. Please get on with it. Thank you. But included in that no, debate, no, no. One time offer, included yes in no. that debate, no. we will debate what the Quran no, says no, happened no, 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 to no. Christ being crucified, yeah, that's right, that's because. Right. Yeah. Because, Paul, without a crucifixion, there is no resurrection. That's right. So we have to debate the crucifixion to debate the resurrection. Okay. So we you, will you, debate you, the crucifixion on the now. basis okay. of the Quran, and we will debate right. the let, resurrection let on the basis now, of the Bible. I made a one-time offer to this gentleman. I use that in inverted commas. He's not really a gentleman. 
and uh, he has refused my one-time offer to base only the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Why don't he you now, want to debate the Quran? He, he wants to add yeah. other religious Can you have a resurrection in? without a crucifixion? So yeah. you have failed my can challenge. Can you have a crucifixion bye bye. without a bye resurrection? Bye. Paul, how, how are you? Paul, <laughs> can you have a crucifixion <laughs> without a resurrection, Paul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul, what is the point in debating a resurrection without talking about the crucifixion? Paul, 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 I'm an ignorant man. I need Dawa. I need you to talk to me about the Quran. You are under a religious obligation. I'm scared. You, you said how scared I am. You look, are scared. Look, look, look at my hand. It's shaking. Yeah, so let's debate the crucifixion and this hand is shaking in the Quran. So is Allah a liar, Paul? Paul, is Allah a liar? Anyone wants to debate this subject? Paul, does is Jesus Allah rise a liar? I will debate it with you. So long as we can debate the crucifixion according to the Quran. That's not the officer. That's not the officer. What? Is Allah a liar, Paul? Paul, 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 is Allah a liar? Paul, why are you walking away, Paul? Paul! 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 Why are you running, Paul? Paul, stop running! Paul, stop running! Why are you running, Paul? Paul! I've said let's debate the crucifixion and resurrection. The crucifixion according to the Quran and the resurrection according to the Bible. Let's debate that. I made to him a one time offer. Do you want it? Come on, Paul. To debate the resurrection of Jesus. You want to debate the Quran. Paul. And I want to debate the resurrection. I've said I'll include your debate in my debate. Not on offer. Why are you why are you frightened to debate your book? I have bad nerves. Why are you frightened to debate your book? Bad nerves. Let me ask you this question. Is Allah a liar? Is Allah a liar? Is Allah a liar? Is that how bad it is now? Is that how low it is now? Allah. Is he a liar? Paul. Is he a liar? Paul. I'm asking you. I'm ignoring you, Jay. I'm ignoring you. Why don't you want to answer that question? Every week, Christ criticizes the Bible. He tells the scripture on a weekly basis. Every single week, you go up to Christians to debate them about the Bible. I want to debate you about your Quran. Why? Why is the Dawah team scared to debate the Quran? The Dawah team? Why are you scared? Because I'm scared. I can tell that, but why? Uh, uh, to do with my upbringing. So, do my upbringing. Let, let me ask you this simple question. What was your definition of a liar? You embody it. You, you, what's your real name? What's your real name? What's your name? What's your real name? What's your definition of a liar? What's your real name? Chris? It's not my real name, but everybody knows it's not my real name. What is your real name? Yeah, but everyone knows it's not my real name. What's your real name? So he doesn't want to answer the question. What's your real name? So the question I'm asking Paul, perhaps someone else could answer it. What is the definition of a liar? I have no idea. My English is very poor. We know that, Paul. Every week you're here debating about the Bible. Who speaks English well? What a court. Can anyone answer this question? Paul, why are you running? Okay. I'm running away from So let me ask anyone this question. I think, I think what is the definition of a liar? What's the definition of a liar? Why are the Dawa channels running away? Why is the Dawa team running away? Why? Why are they running? Why are they running? It's a simple What's question. question? No, I'll ask you then. Yeah, Let's go yeah, back. Yeah. Let's come back to you. Yeah. What's the definition of a liar? I'm not one second choice. What's, what's the definition of a liar? He doesn't want to answer the question. Let me ask this brother. I, I'm making a massive assumption I'm here. No one. Okay, that's fine. I'm no one either. I know. What's your definition of a liar? You don't want to answer the question. Do you want to answer this question? What's your definition of a liar? You're not obliged, this is true. It is interesting that the Muslim Dawah team don't want to debate what, what their team book. Talking about? You're going to like his one talking about you. entity. I'm talking about you. Am I part of a Muslim Dawah so, team? You want to debate Am I part of a Muslim Dawah team? What's the definition no, no, you of a liar? You made a claim. Am I part of a Muslim Dawah team? What's the definition of a liar? No, you made a claim. Am I part of a Muslim Dawah team? Yes, I made a claim. Am I part of a I believe so. So it's a belief. Yes, it's a belief. It's a perception. So, yeah. Is it true or is it false? Discrimination. <laughs> so, right. Why am I a liar? 
Tell me why though, why have I lied to you? You said that I lied about you, tell me why I am lying. Okay, so I said something that was false. Yeah, so that's a lie. A team, a team necessitates there's more than one person. Yeah. I'm here by myself. Okay, right. So that's a lie, number one. Number two, earlier on, when we was having a conversation, and he said that the Jews in the Quran says the Jews did kill the prophet. Sorry, the Jews did kill the prophet Jesus. Yeah. It doesn't say that in the Quran. And you know it doesn't say that. What does it say? It says they claimed to have killed the prophet. And why did they make that claim? No, no, no. That's besides Why did they make that claim? That's point. I'm showing you why you're alive. It's interesting. I'm showing, no, no, I'm showing you. You asked me it's questions. It's interesting. I'm you, you don't want to I'm showing you say the alive. next part yeah? of that verse. No, no, no. I'm showing you why you're alive. It yeah? says in the Quran so because it was made to appear to them. No, but either way. So it's you're it's definite. When you accuse see that, them see how being how alive. To, see how we try to turn the conversation so what you want to be. So I'm going to talk to you. I am a liar. So yeah, you're I have said something that is Because you said that in the Quran it says the Jews did kill the prophet. So I have given a But when you actually put the verse up, it says that they claim to have killed Jesus. Quran and he knew this, so that. he's a liar. The Quran does that make sense? That so I prove my point. So I'm gonna walk okay, off. He doesn't want to debate. He doesn't want to debate. You don't want to debate. You want to preach? Show me your evidence. Okay. I don't have the Quran on me, but we read it earlier. It's on film. What's the Quran? No, no, no. We've read the verse. Okay. It's on film. It's on film. I don't have my Quran. Okay, then I don't believe you. Okay, you don't believe. If you're making a point, so what we can do? I am sure we can find the Quran. Okay. Yeah, and someone might have it online, and we can just pull up the verse and look at it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. What was your claim? Well, well, did did we read the Quranic yeah, verse in I'm, full? Unlike you, I'm not a liar. Okay, yeah? so, so we did read the we verse. Have read you know the verse. We did read the verse. I'm not going to stand there. So and what it says is that the Jews boast that they have killed Christ, the Christ the Messiah. Sorry, Christ, uh, son of Mary. That they crucified him, but they didn't. That it was made to appear to them. And those who and those who believe it or have no certainty about what they believe and they have nothing but conjecture. Well, that's a summary of the verse, I'm not doing it ad verbatim. But I think that's a fair summary, I don't think I'm misrepresenting it. Okay, what's your conclusion from that evidence? That my, evidence? my conclusion is that when we take the claims made by Muslim scholars over the centuries, what yeah, the that Allah saved Jesus by replacing him with someone else, that's one thing. But Allah but speak about the becomes a liar. Speak about the swim theory. So why do you want to choose that? Okay. Narrative? Who's responsible for life and death? That's besides the point. No, you it's actually. Said, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Of okay. Not. He says. Not. Yeah, he thinks, not. You think you the question is not relevant. No, no, you just said. Yeah, you think the question is not relevant. Him with someone else. Yeah. yeah. But let's talk about theory. the swoon theory. Let's do the swoon theory. Let's but that's do it. one theory. Okay, I'm let's say the swoon theory. Let's do the swoon theory. So, according to Islam, Allah is responsible for life and death. Allah is the Put responsible. Everyone, yeah, everyone. yeah everyone. exactly. So, if we take the swoon theory uh, um, seriously, Another theory made by Muslims, because the Muslims have no certainty about what happened, and the Muslims are the ones that are full of conjecture, not the Christians, because Christians are all agreed Christ died on the cross. According to the swoon theory, Allah chose not to take his life, even though he was being crucified to die. And Allah allowed people to believe, and, and Allah allowed people to believe that he died. Can the Messiah die? Now, if According I to the Bible, the Messiah you that die? something is true that so is not So how are you true, saying that Christ is the Messiah? What am I? So it works against you, your own Aliyah. arguments are working Aliyah. against you. So what is Allah? Listen, you're proposing all this evidence, and like I said, I'm not sure if I believe you. So I am just I'm asking you to okay, believe your Quran. But you're, you're making a conclusion, and you expect me to agree with you, but I haven't seen the evidence that you presented. I, I, you have, I, mean? I have given so you the Quranic text. text. Okay, you, you have, a summary. You have to show me. For me to believe what we, you're saying. You can ask this, brother. We've already me. read it. Okay. My summary okay, is you, sound. Is it fair what you're saying? The evidence About my summary of what the Quran says. Is the evidence that he's presented? Okay, we've got it here. We've got it here. We got. We've got the text here. And for their saying, indeed we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them, and indeed those who differ over it are, though are in doubt about it, they have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption, and they did not kill him.
That's basically what you're saying. I'm not a scholar. And I'm not an expert on religion. But you made okay. it. But the thing is, you're making a good one. So cool, Phil. This is really what's going on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Muslim interpretation. This is what's come to mind. Every interpretation, the swoon theory he said, the one that I've given, none of these are Christian made up. All of them are what Muslims have said. That's God deceived in the Bible. But according to the Quran. That's God deceived in the Bible. According to the Quran. That's God deceived in the Bible. According to the Quran. You had your chance. That's someone answered the question. He's scared. Just like how do you say Paul Williams is scared? He's scared. They have no so knowledge of it except the scared. following scared. of scared. assumption scared. and they did not kill him for certain. Those who differ over it or in doubt about it, that they're following conjecture. So the Quran is saying that we Christians are in conjecture. This is what the Quran is saying. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I know the Muslim interpretation. This is not my inter I am not I have not mentioned anything that a Christian believes. Okay, what Muslims have interpreted then? The way you, the way, what you just said is you, you are basically re-extracting uh, interpretations from what, Muslim, from what Muslims have said. So give me the names of the Muslims that have interpreted that verse yeah. that you've just uh, cited right now. Well, Akhman did that, Shabia Ali, those would be two of the names. Zakir Naik, Bilal Iraq. Sorry, Bilal Bilal Khan. Bilal 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 so there's, there's four names right there. Okay. okay, now let me ask you this question. I just, I just, before you ask me that question, I just want to okay. clarify a certain thing, yeah? Your girlfriend extracted um, interpretations from what uh, scholars said. Now, are you, you, you must be aware, you're a clever man, that scholars, there's different types of scholars, and different scholars, different scholars differ in their interpretations of certain verses. Yes, absolutely, yeah? Yes. So, what you just presented is one way of looking at a yes. particular type of evidence. Yes. And other scholars will disagree and will say the opposite of what you said. Okay. So, if, you, if you're trying to convince me in believing that what what you're saying is correct, then you know I'm in, I'm in doubt. I'm always going to be in doubt because now, according yeah. to the Quran, it's not you that should be in doubt. It's me. According to the Quran, it is me that should be in doubt about what actually happened, and it should be me that is speculating and making up conjecture, different theories to try and explain the events. But the reality is, for 2,000 years, the church has been consistently clear. Christ died on a cross. Seventh century comes along, this verse is revealed, and suddenly the Muslims are in doubt and making up conjecture to explain their ayah. But the Quran says it shouldn't be you in doubt and making up conjectures, it should be me and him. And me and him should disagree. And me and the other Christians should disagree and fight about this and fall out and argue about what happened according to the Quran, if the Quran is true, if the words of Allah are real. But actually, when we look at sociologically what's really happening, all Christians agree that Christ was crucified, died on a cross and rose on the third day. But Muslims cannot agree about what actually happened to Jesus and they are conjecturing and they are making up different kinds of theories to explain what happened in the past. But the point I'm making to you is that, theologically speaking, Allah is wrong because... Allah, let me finish. Theologically speaking, Allah is wrong because Allah says we should be full of doubt and conjecture, but the reality on the ground is, when we look at all the evidence, it's the Muslims that are in doubt and full of conjecture. So Allah has made one false statement and he's possibly lying. So, can we right, believe let me, let me such a book? Question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying that we're in doubt because of the fact there's a disagreement. Muslims in, are in doubt, there's, that's there's, clear. Yeah, yeah. You're saying the doubt originates from the disagreement of the scholars about the depth of... Which you've just right. testified to yourself. Okay, okay. No, I haven't testified it. I haven't testified, it. I haven't testified anything. So, okay, let me just ask you a question here. From a, from a Christian perspective, yeah? Okay, so you're saying that uh, the, the uh, origins of the crisis death have always remained uh, basically the same throughout uh, Christian scripture, right? Christian scripture, yeah. right? Throughout the, the Christians scripture, are clear, right? Christ was crucified so and that, he died on a cross. So you're saying that, is, that, that consists, that, that's evidence that's consistent uh, with the whole of scripture, right? That's correct. But what about the rest of the part? Why do they have to keep uh, changing the uh, Bible rules over and over again? Okay. So you're saying that, basically your point is, is that that has remained uh, uh, basically <laughs> consistent. Yep. But why hasn't everything else been doing? <laughs> <laughs> right? okay. Because like you said, the so, Bible has adapted to May I reply? May I reply? So, it's like you're picking and choosing. Yeah, yeah, but, but here's the thing. The topic that we're talking about is what happened to Christ on the cross. Okay? The biblical evidence is clear. Christ died on a cross. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John are all clear about that. These are all independent authors, by the way. They're all writing independently of one another. 
Paul is clear of that, are clear about that. He's also writing independently of the others. It's clear that they are aware of one another's texts. Certainly, the Synoptic Gospels are. However, what is and, and this is indisputable. You know, you look at Dr. Daniel Wallace. Dr. Bart Ehrman, a man who makes your point about the Bible being changed. Let, let me finish, let me finish. Dr. Bart Ehrman, who makes your very point about Bibles being changed. Dr. Bart Ehrman agrees. He believes Christ was crucified, died on a cross. Dr. Daniel Wallace, who argues with Bart Ehrman about whether we can trust the Bible, believes Christ died on a cross. Bruce Metzger believes Christ died on a cross. Dr. James White believes Christ died on a cross. No serious scholar except in the Muslim world, no serious scholar believes that Christ was not crucified. The historical evidence is clear. We have historians outside of the Bible, outside of the Bible talking about Christ's crucifixion. We have church fathers writing outside of the Bible about Christ's crucifixion. Paul was writing to people who already believed in Christ's crucifixion before he wrote his letters which means that the claim that Christ was crucified was there before he wrote about so it. So can I ask, so are you basically saying in summary that the Bible is more valid than the Quran? Is that I, uh, what you're saying? Because that's what, that's what I'm getting at. You're basically saying that uh, the, there's one common agreement in uh, the Bible that uh, Christ died in a specific way. But yet in those uh, literature in the Quran, there's disagreement. So for what I'm gathering, you're basically saying that the Bible is more valid form of evidence than the Quran. Right. That's basically what you're proposing. That, that is part of what I'm proposing. Okay, it's not my, the Quran. I can, I can no, let me that. finish. No, okay, no, 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 no. You've, you one had, you've had your time to speak. Let me speak. You have not. You've had your time to hold speak. Hold on. I'll but let you finish and then I'll reply. I'll that, let you finish and I'll reply. If, 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 if you're going to say that, wait, wait. I'm going to help you. Okay, if you're going to I want to try and help you. I want to try and help you. If you're going to say that, this is not the fullness of my argument. This is not the fullness of my argument. I'm trying to help you. All right, then clarify, please. I am not trying. I'm trying to help you. So when you respond, you can respond to the fullness of my argument. Okay, you're right. I am arguing that the Gospels... Let me, no, it's not selective at all. Let me finish. I am arguing that the Gospels are more reliable on this fact. I am also arguing that the Quran imputes the honor of Allah by making him a liar. And the Quran is making a statement that is also... Let me finish. Let me finish. You can respond in your turn. That the Quran is also making a statement that is factually false. Factually false. So those are my three points. Gospels more reliable about what happened to Jesus on the cross. The Quran makes Allah into a liar, and the Quran makes a false statement about facts. Well, well, so the false statement. Just repeat for me again. The, the false statements are this. The Quran says that the people of the first centuries are in doubt about what happened to Jesus and are full of conjecture. However, the testimony... How does that make you a false uh, that, If you let me finish, I'll explain. Can I explain? Okay. So that's what the Quran says. But the fact of history is that Jews, Christians and Romans all agree Christ died on a cross. There is no dispute amongst them. So that makes secondly, the wrong. Secondly, secondly, Muslims from the seventh century are coming up with one theory after another to explain this verse. That means that it is the Muslims are in doubt about what actually happened and are making conjecture. But the Quran says it should be the other way around. So your reply? Okay, so just because uh, the Quran says, as you mentioned, that something is in doubt, right? That doesn't make it false. Okay. If I don't know what's happening to you, right? Say for instance that you die and I don't know the origins of your death and I say to someone else, okay, I don't know if he died. That doesn't make me a liar. That doesn't make me false, just to clarify your point. Because the Muslims don't know the origins of Jesus' death, that doesn't make them a liar and that doesn't make them false. Okay? Just to be clear. So that's, that's what you're arguing. And you, also what I've noticed is you're basically uh, extracting, you're supporting your argument and saying that the whole Quran is false by saying that just because um, the uh, just because the origins of uh, Jesus' death is unclear in the Quran and it's basically clear in the Bible, then you're saying that the Quran is false and the, the Bible is more, somehow more valid than the Quran. Which I disagree. You've because, misunderstood because my argument slightly. Because if you're going to interpret, if you're going to select 
one extract of the Quran to support your argument that the Bible is somehow more valid than the Quran, then you also have to look at your own Bible and look at all the other disputable evidence in the Bible which the Quran can also pick up on. I don't know, I haven't read the Bible, but I know there's certain, certain things that are unclear in the Bible which I could easily raise to you the same way you're raising to me. Okay, let me, let me reply yeah. to that. We're, we're talking about sorry, things sorry. that are factual. 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 Okay. So it is a fact that Muslims are disputing what actually happened to Jesus. That's a fact. The evidence is there. You've got Ahmed Didat who proposes the swoon theory. You've got other Muslims who are proposing the replacement theory. You've got Muslims who propose an illusion theory. There are, there are Muslims, some people say that it was Judas Iscariot on the cross. Some Muslims say that it was actually one of the faithful followers of Jesus who offered himself to be a replacement because he wanted to die in the place of Jesus. Muslims have lots of different theories about what actually happened. It's so sociologically proven, it's evidential, you can just get all the theories and I invite you to do so and look at them. So there's no dispute about the fact that Muslims are conjecturing about what happened in the first century. How do you know? Let me finish. How do you know? How do you know? Let your, me finish. Your, the evidence Let in the Bible is more valid. Okay, how do you know? I'm going to come to that. I, I promise know? I will come yeah. to that. How do you know? I will valid? come to that. I will come to that. Now, the Quran is saying that the what what should be happening is that the people of the first century should be in doubt and the people of the first century should be conjecturing. But when we look at the evidence, like Josephus and other historians, and we look at the early church fathers, and we look at the, the literature of the New Testament, the witness is consistent no matter who is writing, whether they're Jewish, Roman, pagan or Christian, Christ was crucified. No conjecture, no doubt. Christ died, no I, I, conjecture, I to, I no believe. doubt. So, so, when we weigh the evidence against the statement of alleged, the Quran... Alleged, alleged evidence. Yes, alleged, go and look into alleged, it. Alleged, alleged. Go and look into it. When we weigh the evidence, I'm not, I'm not happy with when the we weigh the evidence and we compare it to the claim that the Quran makes should be happening, we are forced to conclude that the Quran is false. From your alleged evidence. To, alleged, you asked about the Bible. One more point, one more point. You asked about the Bible okay, and never got onto okay, it. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so why do I believe that the Gospels are more reliable? I believe that the Gospels are more reliable because they were written by the community that surrounded the eyewitnesses. And those eyewitnesses didn't go and proclaim Christ crucified, Christ resurrected because someone else told them. They went and proclaimed Christ crucified, Christ resurrected because they had seen and experienced something, something that convinced them that Christ had risen from the dead. Now, if Christ had risen from the dead, that means he had to die. And, the only, and they testified that he died on a cross. And you're getting that from scripture, right? You're saying I'm getting that from scripture. Yeah, exactly. So then why does it, why, that's what I'm saying, why is it that your scripture is more valid than what the Quran okay. says? So, I know you, said, I know you proposed that you said there's many different types of theories and different types of evidence, but I'm sure equally that there's also different types of evidence supporting the theory, the theory as you allege, that uh, the origins of Christ's death are unknown. You know what I mean? It works both ways. You can't just propose evidence and say that's the so theory, the theory, the theory of Christ's death, because there's equally, I know for sure that I can research, research, I can research let me finish point, okay. you can research online and you could also equally say that, okay, this is my evidence to prove that the Quran is proven why it's saying that Christ's death is uh, um, unknown, you know what I mean? So it works both ways, man. Okay, okay, so let me address that point, let me address that point. Do a thought experiment with me, okay? Let, 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 let's just do a logical thought experiment. Okay, sure. Okay, an event happens in your life, yeah? Right? Sorry, I just want to structure this properly for the thought experiment to work. So an event happens today that me and you are both witnesses to, and it radically changes our life in some way, okay? Radically changes how we behave, how we operate, okay? And then someone writes about those events, 10 years later and describes them and someone writes about those events 40 years later and describes them and someone writes about those events 70 years later and describes them and then someone writes about those events 600 years later and describes them. Now, the, the ones that are within 70 years are all written by people within living memory of the events and they are written in the country where those events happen 
and they are written by people who, who claim to have access to the witnesses. And then the 600 years later event, the recording of these events, was written in a different country, a different language, by someone who never saw a thing. And these two accounts disagree. Now, not bringing the Quran and the Bible into it, though of course you know that I'm using an allusion to the Quran and the Bible, but just logically, if you came along talking about this event that affected your life and my life and changed us, and you're reading it 2,000 years later, who would you believe to be more accurate? The one written in the time by people who, who spoke the language, who were writing in the area where it occurred. Thank you. Okay, so, so my point to you is that logically you agree with me that the stronger evidence is the one that is closest to the time. If you, if the person like, I know you're using an analogy, right? But the thing is, like I said, you're applying it to the context of Jesus Christ. You're assuming that there were Christians that were there, and they believe God was a man. You know what I'm saying? But we believe God is in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? We believe God is in the that's the root of the problem because no one is unclear. No one saw. I mean, who's unclear? Sorry, sorry. You're saying sorry. Hold on. You just made something that's really important. Who is unclear? The fact that we Christians are very clear. So who's unclear? Yeah, so we have a deal. We have a deal. We believe in that. The point, I'm, the point that's unclear. Point. Dude, stop engaging. The, the, <laughs> point, the point that's ambiguous <laughs> coming from you presented the uh, uh, analogy, analogy say if an event was to occur and both of us present and we happen to write down what had happened, then that would that would be clear because we were both there to both agree that that's what happened. But the point I'm making is that Jesus Christ, no one is sure that uh, there was a witness there. Because for all we know, we don't know if the person could have just made up those statements. That's my point. Someone could have just made up those statements and said, okay, Jesus Christ, uh, died on the cross Hold and on. made up. But so that's so let's, that's just, let's just cut to that because you got a bit... Brother, brother. Well. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not opposing my brother, 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 you're trying to convince brother, me that there, what, there, what's happening in the front is Let me reply to that. Two yeah. points. Firstly, your own logic, as this brother's rightly pointed out, would dis work against you. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So, but the second point is, would you agree with me that if we have different witnesses saying the same thing that it gives credence that's not true. to the fact that what they are saying that's not true. is true. That's not true. He's lying. So, He's lying. Ask him who was present when God... Ask him who was present when Jesus was resurrected. He, now, you see, this ask brother's him. agitated ask because he lost no, the nerve. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Because he's a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a straight liar. Sorry. Ask him who was present when Jesus was resurrected. Right. All right, all right, all right. So, okay, okay, okay. He's, he's, okay, okay, he's okay. being rude now. He's being rude. Do you? You're being rude. All right, all right, all right. Do you, do you, do you believe, right? No. Witness testimonies, witness testimonies yeah. are 100% accurate. No, of course not. Exactly. So how do you know for certain that that, uh, that Let me address that point. Let me address that okay. very point. Yeah. Because we find inaccuracies in the testimonies of the gospel. And inaccuracies. We find inaccuracies. So that fits so perfectly. That might be an inaccuracy. May I finish? Well, that may be an inaccuracy. May I finish? God. God. Thank you. We find inaccuracies within the testimonies of the gospels. Mm. But what we find is that there is consistent agreement about what happened to Jesus Christ. So. In just, the Bible. As, let, just as we would expect to find that if multiple variant witnesses were describing the same event, their witness would have discrepancies, but there would be a kernel of truth. How do you know there was more Let witnesses? me That's finish. I mean. Let me finish. Making these assumptions. Let me finish. Yeah. Because this is how courts work, my friend. Yeah, in courts, yeah. yeah and we know it from no, our no, own no, truth. But you're saying there's more so, witnesses in Hold Jesus on one Christ second. Hold That's on one saying. second. But let me flip yeah. this question back yeah. at you. Yeah. Right? The Quran says Christ was not crucified. Was Muhammad a witness? Listen, I, I haven't read the text, so I'm not, not going to make any comments. Was Muhammad a witness? I'm not going to make any comments. Brother, 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 brother. I'm not going to make any comments. It's simple as this. Is Muhammad the author of the Quran? The answer is obvious. No. Is Muhammad the author of the Quran? Why are you fighting to answer? I'm not. I'm not. You had your chance to debate. The author of the Quran is a witness. I'm sorry. Can we just step away from this rude person? Can we just step away from this rude person? Now you don't mind stepping away from me. Yeah. He's had several times to debate me, and then he doesn't. Maybe he wants to heckle me. He's had several. Several, several okay, opportunities. Okay, to you debate. expect uh, me 
need to know the origin of Christ's death. That's why you're asking that question. Was Muhammad present when Christ died? Right? That's what well, that was But I'm saying I don't know because the scripture in the Quran. Oh my wait, gosh. Wait, oh my God. The scripture when was Quran. Muhammad born? Let me, let me finish my point. Let me finish my okay, point. I'll let you finish your point. Let me finish my point. You had your chance no, to debate. I'm not debate. talking, I'm talking to him. Is Muhammad the author of the Quran? Is Muhammad the author of the Quran? Why are you being rude? Is Muhammad the author of the Quran? His point is not valid because Muhammad is not the author of the Quran. So, he is being rude. What do you mean, how do I know? That's not what we claim. 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 Let him come to this side. I haven't read the Quran in detail. From the eye of the... Can you read Arabic? I can't read Arabic. So you can never read the Quran? Okay, that's it. From that evidence that you just presented, I'm just taking that and accepting that evidence, right? That interpretation of that specific eye in the Quran basically says that there was no... The origins of Christ and death is unbelievable. I really want to be on camera. Right? No, I really want to be on camera. Let's put this guy on camera. No, no. I've got my personal heckler today. No, no. This is my personal heckler. He's on, he's on camera. Wait, sorry, he's being rude. He's he's okay. the, it basically suggests that the, the eye in the Quran is suggests that uh, the origins of Christ's death is unclear. Now, you just proposed the question to me, and, it, uh, it, and in many ways, the loaded question to somehow suggest that Muhammad was present in Christ's death. When no. it specifically says in the eye in the Quran that the origins of Christ's death is unclear. Let, so let, but you're, you're proposing, let, 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 me, suggest let me be clear, Christ died in the let me clear about my points. I am saying that if we take the statement of the Quran seriously, then we have to conclude a couple of things. One, literal, literal interpret we, we, interpret let me finish. Yeah. We have to conclude a number of things if we take what the Quran says seriously. We have to take it seriously that there is a deception going on. We have to take it seriously that there is a factually errant statement being made. And then we have to take this statement and we have to compare it to the available evidence. And we do have evidence. Okay. Like we, I said, there's evidence also in the, in, in, from, there other, is, from other people, from other historians in the I, past, that will also support no, there the uh, interpretation of the Quran. There isn't. That the origin there really is isn't. Them. Okay. All right, well, I have to see it to There me. really is I'll no. I have to see it to I'll make that judgment There myself. is no, there isn't. I'll, I'll make that judgment There myself. on the, the historians, such as, okay. I'll, I'll give you some historians. I'm an atheist. Yeah. I'll, I'll make that judgment myself. I'll give you some. I'll give you some historians. Okay. His point right. doesn't stand. So he's got an assumption that the Quran. Was you had your chance to debate. I didn't have you no chance, chance to debate. I didn't have no you chance. You had your chance to debate. I had a chance to be preached at. You had a big your chance. Debate. You didn't want to. Yeah, because okay. obviously I didn't have debate. This is me. I met my brother in the city two weeks ago. He said he's going to arrange a debate with me and uh, Bob the Builder. You know more about the Quran than me. Going to run away from me uh, here now today. Yeah. We're going to have a two hours debate here, three hours debate. I go well prepared for, for Bob here, well prepared. <laughs> three hours debate. I hope he's not going to run away with me. Folks, he said we're going to pick a topic that is very, very, you know. Josephus was writing between 37 and 120 AD. Okay, Sotorius was writing between 69 and 140 AD. Tacitus was writing between 55 and 117 AD. And what do these people say? Okay, they say things like this. This is a summary of the points in their works. They're saying that Jews and Gentiles were followers of Christ. They're saying that Christ was crucified under Pontius Pilate. They're saying that leading Jews stoned James and they're saying that the, the, the accusation against the Christians were that they were breakers of the law. Now, when we compare the statements made by Josephus, when we made the statements made by Josephus to the statements that we find in the New Testament, we find that there's correlation. The New Testament not says, course, course, let me finish. We're saying that the, the New Testament says that Christ was crucified under Pontius Pilate and died. Josephus is saying Christ was crucified under Pontius Pilate and died. In Sotorius, it describes Jesus as a troublemaker and a center of a new superstition. This is how Sotorius describes Jesus. The New Testament makes Christ to be our but your, evi your, evidence, your evidence is based on correlation. That's my point. It's so, not based on cause. What evidence do you have to validate the Quran? Yeah, I, I, I am not going to make a comment on that because, like I said, I have to gather all the evidence possible. Like I said, yes, please do. No, no, no. Like you told me to research. Yes, I need absolutely. To research, you know what I mean? Right I now, want you to. right now, I'm struggling to debate, debate with your man like this because usually it's important for me to get prepared and knowledgeable on certain topics the same way you're knowledgeable. On these appreciate your honesty, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Appreciate so, your honesty. I appreciate it. If anything, you've got a certain. If anything, you've got a certain 
advantage over me, but I'm still doing my best. So by next week, I'm happy to get, gather all the evidence. Please do. And then we can have a proper, proper debate. Please with the, with do. The evidence I have, with the evidence you have, yeah. and then we can have a proper, proper But let me, let me ask you this question, right? You would agree with me that if I made something to appear to be false, that is not false, that that would make me a liar, right? Yeah. Right. So according to the Quran, it's stating that it was made to appear to the first Jews that they had crucified Christ the Messiah. That makes Allah a liar. No, no, no. no. Like I said, there's... So what other no, no, explanation? No, no, no. The other explanation is very clear. The explanation is, is the Muslims believe that they don't know the origins of Christ's death. That doesn't make them a liar. Just because someone says, I don't know... No, so we're talking question, about the appearance. No, no, no. Just because someone says, I don't know. You, know, you ask me a question and I say, I don't know. That doesn't You've make me a liar. You've misunderstood the Quran. No, no, the I Quran haven't, says haven't. that they didn't From crucify him and that he didn't die and that he was raised up to Allah and that Allah made, well it doesn't say Allah but it says it was made to appear to them that it was so but they are in doubt and full of conjecture right hold on one second if the, 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 the fact, just think logically for me think logically for me Christ was a well known rabbi he went around preaching he was followed by thousands of people and he was known to the Jewish authorities what could have made them think that they had actually crucified Christ, but not? The only way that that makes sense is that there is somehow a divine intervention by Allah to make them think something that is not true. Because Christ was well known, people followed him. The Jews confronted him, the Pharisees confronted him. They were talking to him on the cross, mocking him. So they obviously thought that they were speaking to Jesus. The only way, and this is what Muslim scholars say, by the way, the only way that this could make sense is if somehow Allah is responsible for them thinking that they had crucified him. So if Allah is responsible and he's making someone believe something that is false, what is Allah? Well, you're going to try and give me the same. I'm, I'm say asking you. I'm not going to say the lie. Okay, right. Because like I said, I have to gather. You, you presented evidence. Let me gather, look out and do my research. Sure. And then I can make a conclusion. In the, in the, in, right. Okay, that's fine. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. In the science of hadiths, I'll leave you with this one final thought. In the science of hadiths, can you trust a liar? In, in just a general statement. Can, in, I, can I trust a liar? In the science no, no, of hadiths. No. Can I trust a liar? Yeah, in the science no, no, of hadiths. I, 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 I'm not going to ask that. That's a very, that's a loaded question. That's a okay. Loaded question. That's a loaded question. Have, you, have you got a, a gospel at home? Uh, I haven't got a gospel. Right, to help you start your research, because you said you're going to look into it. Yeah, I'll give you these two. Have a read of it. That's an eyewitness account. Okay, sure. Have a read of it. Right. Come back with your questions next week. I will, I will, and God willing, if I'm here, I'll answer them. If I'm not here next week, I do come often. So look out for me. And when you see me, just grab me. We'll go to one side and we'll talk more. You have a good day. It's really good to talk to you. You have a nice day. We, 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 we spoke again about this question that in the Quran, we have uh, two things that are happening. One, we have what really happened to Jesus on the cross. And two, the statement in the Quran that those who do not, those who believe that Christ was crucified are in doubt and full of conjecture. But when we compare these two statements to the available evidence outside of the scriptures, we find actually that Christians are in universal agreement that Christ was crucified and did die on a cross, and that Muslims are in dispute about what actually happened, conjecturing many theories about what happened. Which means that the Quran has got it wrong, because the Quran says that we Christians should be in doubt and full of conjecture. But the reality is, when you look into the evidence, it's the Muslims that are in doubt and full of conjecture. So the Quran has made a false statement. The Quran says that Christ wasn't crucified, it was made to appear to them. If that is true, then that means we must conclude Allah is responsible. Because how else could a well-known rabbi, a teacher with a followers of thousands, who is a, an opponent to the Pharisees and known to them and by them, be misrecognized by anything other than divine intervention? which makes Allah a liar. And according to the science of hadiths, you cannot trust a liar. According to Islamic logic, 
you have to reject the Quran because the source of the Quran is not trustworthy. If the evidence and the logic leads you out of Islam, you have to go in that direction. The Gospels are clear, Christ was crucified, died on a cross and rose on the third day. The pagan historians are also clear, Christ was crucified. The church fathers are also clear, Christ was crucified and rose on the third day. Something happened to the first Christians that made them so convinced that they preached Christ risen from the dead. What? What could convince people of that fact? What experience could they have that would convince them? Something convinced them and radically changed their perception of reality that many of them went on to die for this belief. The only theory that makes sense of the historical evidence is that it actually happened as described. They didn't hear this from someone else. They were not deceived and brought into a belief. They were the very first people to preach it, so they believed it before anyone else, which means that they are the originators and they had an original experience. And this is what I'm presenting to Muslims here. I'm asking Muslims to deal with these facts. The fact that the Quran makes Allah out to be a liar, the fact that uh, the Quran makes, uh, puts into Allah's mouth words that are evidently not true, and the fact that the gospel is correlated by other historical accounts and is earlier written in the time by eyewitnesses or those who had access to eyewitnesses and the community that was born around those eyewitnesses. The statement in the Quran was made 600 years later in a foreign language by a man who witnessed nothing in a completely different culture and context. Who would